Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating the evaluation of the inverse Z transform using partial fraction approach. Specifically, we will learn about the method one of finding the coefficients of the partial fraction uh, terms. So given the following Z transform, X of Z equals 1 by 1 minus 1.5 Z power minus 1 plus 0 0.5 Z power minus 2. We want to find the inverse Z transform using the partial fractions approach. So first we have to convert this X of Z into rational polynomial with only positive powers of Z. So for that purpose we multiply and divide with Z square or Z square. So we have Z square upon z square minus 1.5 z plus 0 0.5. So that is a rational polynomial in terms of positive powers of z. Now we have to find x of z by x of um, x of z by z is equal to z by z square uh, z by z square minus 1.5 z plus 0 0.5. Now we can decompose this uh, uh, denominator as a product of two factors. So it can be written as z is, e uh, is equal to z by z minus 1 multiplied by z minus 0.5. The sum is clearly minus uh, 1.5 and product is clearly plus 0.5. So, so this denominator is written as z minus 1 into z minus 0.5. Now our goal is to find the partial fractions for this uh, polynomial, for this rational polynomial that is z, z upon z minus 1 into z minus 0.5 and let us call it uh, and let us write the partial fractions for this rational polynomial as a1 by z minus 1 plus a2 by z minus 0.5. So to find the values of a1 and a2 we use the method 1 that is we compare the coefficients on both sides and find the values of a1 and a2. So we use the method 1 which is basically comparison of coefficients. So for example, when we compare constants, we have minus 0.5 a1 minus a2 equals 0. And when we compare the coefficients of z, we have a1 plus a2 equals 1. Now by multiplying uh, minus, point, minus 2 and now for this equation, we have a1 plus 2a2 equal to 0. So a1 is equal to minus 2a2. So by substituting that minus 2 a2 here uh, for the, um, a1 by substituting a1 equal to minus 2 a2 in the second equation we get a2 is equal to minus 1 and obviously a1 will be 2. Now the rational polynomial becomes z by z minus 1 into z minus 0 0.5 it will be equal to in terms of partial fractions 2 by z minus 1 minus 1 by z minus 0.5. Therefore, x of z by z is equal to 2 by z minus 1 minus 1 by z minus 0.5. Therefore, to find x of n, we have to find the inverse z transform of x of z, which is going to be uh, using the partial fraction approach, uh, 2z by z minus 1, which is basically 2 by 1 minus z inverse minus 1 by 1 minus 0 0.5 z inverse. This is achieved by simply sending the z towards right side and then uh, dividing both the numerator and de denominator with z. So uh, now we can easily find the partial, uh, we can easily find the inverse z transform of these two uh, rational polynomials. That means x of n will be simply equal to 2 times and then the inverse z transform of 1 by 1 minus z inverse which is simply u of n. And then minus uh, 1 by 1 minus 0 0.5 z inverse. The inverse z transform of this uh, rational polynomial is simply minus 0 0.5 power n u of n. So the solution is 2 minus 0.5 power n u of n. That is the x of n is 2 minus 0 0.5 power n multiplied by u of n. So that is the inverse z transform or the sequence from which the given z transform is derived. To summarize, we have looked at the uh, we have looked at an example illustrating the evaluation of the inverse z transform using a partial fractions approach, where we use the method one for finding the partial fraction coefficients. So, given x of z equal to one by one minus one point five z inverse plus zero point five z power minus two, 
uh, we write it in uh, rational polynomial fashion in which z is uh, uh, z are basically positive powers that is z have only positive powers therefore we can write x of z by z as z by z square minus 1.5 z plus 0.5 and then we can find the poles of this uh, uh, x of z or z transform as 1 and 0.5 so we can write this uh, rational polynomial as z by z minus 1 into z minus 0.5 now the next step is partial fractions that is we apply partial fractions to x of z by z that is z by z minus 1 into z minus 0.5 equals a1 by z minus 1 plus a2 by z minus 0.5 and by simply comparing the coefficients that is the um, key part of this method that is we compare the coefficients on both sides of this uh, representation so yeah. minus 0.5 a1 minus a2 equal to 0 that is by comparing constants and then by comparing the coefficients of z on both sides we have a1 plus a2 equal to 1 and by solving these two equations we can find that a1 is equal to 2 a2 is equal to minus 1 and then uh, we can find the inverse z transform x of n as inverse uh, z transform of x of z that means now we can find the inverse z transform that is x of n as the inverse z transform of 2 by 1 minus z inverse minus 1 by 1 minus 0 0.5 z inverse by using the standard definitions it is 1 by 1 minus a z inverse is a uh, the inverse z transform of this z transform 1 by 1 minus a z inverse is a power n u of n uh, assuming causal signals so x of n will be 2 times u of n minus 0 0.5 power n u of n in other words x of n is 2 minus 0 0.5 power n u of n that is it is only non-zero for n greater than or equal to 0 thanks for watching